Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a polymer clay loaf of bread, a really miniature one. It's the first episode in my miniature food series. I posted a video last night telling you the theme, and here it is. So, uh, the materials you'll need are a piece of tan polymer clay, and here is it compared to a penny. It's a, like, it'll, it fits on the penny. So, it's a really small little piece. And then you're going to need a paintbrush, an exacto knife, and pastels, and the exacto knife is to shave your pastel, and then the paintbrush is to put it on the clay. And then you'll need a needle tool for um, making your bread like textured, because we're gonna make a baguette, and it'll actually add the three lines. And then you're gonna need eye pins or head pins, and if you're using an eye pin, you're gonna need to be able to cut it down with wire cutters. So let's get started with the tutorial. First, condition your tan clay and then put it into a ball. After that, you're gonna put it on your surface and you're gonna flatten it down into a kind of bread loaf, like baguette kind of shape. So I will come back when it is done. Your clay should look something like this. After that, you're gonna take your needle tool and you're going to put three lines kind of diagonally and they're gonna be like that and then they're just gonna like be indented on the bread and you're going to need to make them look like a loaf of bread because it has usually like three lines and that's how it's represented. So I'm going to grab one of my already made bread loaf charms and I'm going to show you what the line should look like. You're going to make the lines look something like that. See how they're kind of diagonally made and then they're on the bread but they're really small? Because that's just to make it look more realistic. Once your bread looks like that or like this, then you're done like molding your bread. Next, you're going to have to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to shave down pastels and you're going to need to shave down this pastel and probably this one because you need to shave the bottom too. So I'm going to shave it down and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. I ended up shaving down this color, a little bit of these two, and then these two. And I mixed together the two lightest colors here, uh, the two darkest colors here, and then the middle color I put separate. Because that's the main color, and then this is for the bottom, and this is for the little indents, because those are always lighter and more golden than the others, uh, the other parts of it, but the darker one always gets in. So then, you're going to take your paintbrush, and you're going to start on the top, and you're just going to dab your paintbrush in it, and then you're going to put it all over the bread. And you'll see that it gets really, really nice looking. And it gets pretty dark sometimes, so that's also why you need the lighter colors, so you can, like, brighten it up a little bit, because sometimes you'll over-darken it, and, like, I think mine looks really kind of, like, dark, but it also looks really baked, so, like, I'm liking it, but you might not. So, if you want to have it lighten up a little bit, then, like, I'm going to do that still, and I'm just going to rub those on top, and that'll just fix it a little bit, and then... You're going to go, and you're going to go into the little cracks, and then, yeah, and then you'll do the bottom, too. So, you just grab a little bit on, for the bottom, and then you just rub it on, and then it'll look something like that. So, it really does I don't texture my bread, really, but you could use sandpaper to texture it as well, or tin foil, and then just kind of, like, smooth it out a little bit. And so, I'm just going to put some of that over, and then some of that, and some of that, some of that. Some of that, some of that, and look how the bottom looks. Kind of gives it a burnt effect, which I really like. And then the top, I touched the darker pastel, so it got on the top, but I'll just use the lighter pastel I shaved down, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is what it should look like when it's finished. Now all you have to do is clean up your pastels, just put those in the trash can, or if you want to put them in a paint pot or something so you can reuse them. You can do that, but I just, I have enough pastel that I don't keep them really. I'll shave them down every time I need them. And then you're just going to finish it off, and you're going to make it a charm if you want to. This is an optional step. And I'm going to take an eye pin, and I'm going to measure it against my bread loaf. And it's way longer than it is, because I get like two inch ones. So you're going to cut it down to what it needs to be. I'm going to cut it down there. And then I like put it up against my chest kind of like this and cut it up so it won't fly away. And then I'm just going to throw away the excess 
and you're gonna bend the tip just a little. You can do pl you can use pliers, but you don't really need to. So I'm gonna actually use them because I'm having trouble. And then you're just gonna take around those pliers and you're gonna bend the tip a little bit and like that. See how it's kind of curved, yeah? That'll keep the head pin, the eye pin in because it doesn't have the thing from the head pin that'll keep it in. So that'll just make it stay in. And then you're just gonna put in the eye pin, and you are done with your miniature bread loaf. Come back soon, and I will have another video up. So I'm gonna finish off, and here's it compared to a penny. Yep. Thanks, guys. Bye.